Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Gamo Urban 22 and it's one heck of an air gun. This is a very compact air gun, even with the full cam suppressor, it's very short. It makes it great for taking out into the woods hunting or shooting in your backyard. It's not overly long, it goes nice in a rifle case. Just everything about the form factor in this gun I really love. This is a bolt action rifle, comes with a 10 shot magazine. Now this is chambered for 22 cal and the Urban 22 is only in 22 caliber. But you get 10 shots per magazine and you get about 30 shots per fill. Shot count, like I just mentioned, is about 30 shots per fill and it stays relatively even given this has the BSA fast strike valve in it. It's not regulated, but it's very, very consistent even though it's not regulated. We're shooting today here at 45 yards and we're getting groups like that. And that's really something special in an air gun that's sitting at right around that $400 price range. Gamo Urban 22, 22 caliber, 22-ish foot-pounds of energy, suppressed, super quiet air gun. 
The stock is very lightweight, it's compact, it's perfect whether you're shooting in the backyard or you're taking it out into the woods to go do some small game hunting. It's a really, really good option for any of those things you want to do. Gammo introduces a line of tactical big bore air guns, the Gammo TC-35 and the Gammo TC-45. The Gammo TC-35 is very quiet due to the integrated moderator and very lightweight thanks to the carbon fiber tank. Can deliver up to 170 foot-pounds when shooting 190 grain cast ammo on full power. On the other end of the scale, it also delivers up to 30 shots. The TC-35 is an extremely accurate and versatile precision big bore air gun capable of taking a wide range of medium game, varmints, and predators as well as great results on the range. The Gammo TC-45 delivers massive power in a lightweight and quiet platform thanks to its integrated moderator and carbon fiber tank, producing over 400 foot-pounds of energy while utilizing a 350 grain cast slug. There's very little that the Gammo TC-45 couldn't put flat on its back. Shot count with the big cast ammo is a solid five shots. For hunters and target shooters who want a bit more speed and shot count, you only need to run lighter .457 round ball or cast ammo, capable of well over 900 feet per second with 138 grain .457 pellets. The lethal range of the TC-45 stretches to 100 yards and beyond. It's a bold new world for adult precision air guns, and once again Gammo is leading the way with their new Gammo TC-35 and Gammo TC-45 big boy air guns. After 45 years of designing air guns, everything we have discovered has led to this. The Umarex Gauntlet. From day one, you've asked for an air gun like this. A versatile pre-charged pneumatic air rifle that performs both live in the field and on the target range. A bolt action machine with a 10 round magazine that's as at home in a competitor's hands as it is in the tools of the hunter. A regulated gun that's engineered to perform shot after consistent shot on just one fill of its tank. A gun that's virtually silent enough for you to pick off prey without disturbing nature. A multi-shot repeating rifle that places pellets one on top of the other. We created this air rifle for folks devoted to the love of consistency and dependability. You get it all for under $300. A new chapter begins. It seems our competition is shaking in their boots. And they should be. We at Umarex are throwing down the gauntlet. The Umarex Gauntlet. All right, the hammer. This, is, uh, this has been my best friend for a long time now. So I've spent a lot of time shooting this thing, a lot of time hunting with it. Uh, the magazine for number one, it's got two shots in it, which is perfect. When you go to put the ammunition in there, if you take like one of the, the bullets and drop it in, it's perfect, it doesn't fall out of there. That's one of the things I'm looking for. So I take the second one here and I wanna load it up. I'm gonna check it and punch it through. And with that, there they are. They're held in place, they're not gonna drop out of there. That covers the bullets. Uh, number two is we start talking about optics. This is not a gun, you're, you're, you're not gonna put a cheap optic on it, number one, because you, you can actually shoot this thing at distance. So you're gonna get pretty close to the rail depending on your ring height. So you wanna make sure and measure that first so you can get that set up. The other thing is you wanna get a scope that has good eye relief because the heavier the bullet that you put in there, it's gonna give you a little bit of kick. And it's not like a kick like a normal firearm. It's more like a kick like, it's like a shove kind of, like in between a shotgun and then, I don't know, it's just, it's a really cool feeling. but. And you, of course, you're going to want to shoot the 550 grain bullets out of it for sure. Uh, and there's some other options out there. On, on the front portion of it here, these are M-lock inserts. So you can actually put like an M-lock, if you want to put a Picatinny rail on here, you can actually get a, a three inch Picatinny and mount that on top of that. You can go a little bit longer if you want to and have it extend. Those are just some little tips that, uh, that I've got there. And really with the scope, I mean, you guys are going to be amazed. It's, it's absolutely awesome. And uh, with that, you guys have fun slinging lead.
I'm Tom Jones at the 2014 SHOT Show with Air Force Ergens debuting the new Escape. The ultimate in survival air rifles. Comes in 22 and 25 caliber. We developed this with the smaller tank, high flow valve, easy to pump up, easy to maneuver, very lightweight. This thing is a badass. When one shot matters, this is what you should be carrying.